Does your source of protein make a difference? That's what Dronowski is trying to look at with this study. He's comparing the nutrient profiles of meat and fish with plant-based alternatives. So we see that plant-based alternatives are coming up for all the people um, who want to eat healthy. And what he's done is essentially he's looked at these meat alternatives versus the protein content in fish and seafood and other kinds of meat like beef. The sum of this study is essentially that these plant-based protein sources are not as rich per gram in proteins compared to the animal-based sources. And that is the alternatives are 17 gram versus 20 gram for a beef or a pork. And they also find that in uh, animal proteins, there's much less of these micronutrients. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. If you go for uh, animal-based proteins, you're going to get more protein, but not a lot of micronutrients. If you go to a plant-based, you can get a lot more micronutrients, but you might have to consume a lot more. Oh. The question is, is the trade-off worth it? it? depends on which side of the fence you're sitting on. Either way, we know that plant-based proteins will be healthy overall. They don't have as much sulfur in them. The sulfur moiety is actually going to go and cause more cardiovascular problems in the long run. They may not be popular, but it's better for in the long run. And they may mean you to consume more, but hey, you can eat more. <laughs>